Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dry the Majoro and we are here with a brand new video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about add-on pants, on how to install add-on pants properly. I've been getting so many messages and so many comments on my social media and even in my Discord server and even on my YouTube comments that people have been saying that add-on pants is dead, add-on pants does not work and etc. But guys, I just recently checked this mod myself just now and it does work so I don't know why people are saying it doesn't work maybe because you installed it wrong so I'm going to go by step by step on how to properly install this mod so make sure you guys download all of the requirements that's inside my description below make sure that your game version is the latest version this will not work on pirate game version so if you do have a pirate game version then I suggest you going by the game okay so with that all said we're going to get straight into the tutorial on how to install add-on pairs properly so this will take a few minutes guys so it's going to take a while because there is a lot of things to download and install so all you guys got to do is download this mod. I will leave this mod inside my description below. And then download game config. I will leave this inside my description below as well. And then download pack file limit adjuster. I will leave this inside my description below as well. And then download heap limit adjuster. I will leave this inside my description below as well. And lastly, download the media fire paint selector. I will leave this inside my description below as well. So make sure you guys download all, all of these. And the paint that we are going to use to spawn is this paint over here. So we are going to spawn this paint. So if you guys want to use this paint or download this paint, then I will leave this inside my description below as well. So make sure you guys download all these files and then we can get started. Now before we do get started, all you guys got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Next, go and open up your add-on pairs extract folder. I have already done mine, it's over here. And now inside that folder, there will be a few files in here, so we're going, so we're going to get started. All you got to do is go to your mods folder, and then if your mods folder is completely empty, then uh, I will leave a tutorial on how to create a mods folder inside my description below, so go and check that out. So all you got to do is go to your update folder, go to your time64 folder, go to your DRC packs folder, and then go to your extract folder, which is your add-on pairs extract folder. Click on your DRC packs folder. And then all you gotta do is just drag or copy the add-on pairs folder that's inside there and paste it inside your DRC packs folder. And then now make sure that you do have a DRC.RPF. Yes, you do. Always double check. Now all you guys got to do next is go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and now select your add-on pairs editor and your add-on pairs vast files and then now copy it and paste it into your main GTA V folder and then there you go. Now the next thing you got to do is go to your scripts folder and then quit okay 
quits out of your add-on pets okay and then now go and open up your pet selector extract folder and inside that folder there will be one file all you gotta do is just click on your pet selector.dll and drag it inside your scripts folder exit out of your extract folder go back to your add-on pets now the next thing you gotta do is go to your readme.ht email now in here there will be a few things okay but just skip your number one go to number two now go to number three and inside number three all you gotta do is copy the code over here copy the code and then exit out of your adult email and now all you gotta do is exit out of your adult page extract folder then go to open iv go to grand theft audio v windows click on edit mode select yes go to your mods folder go to update go to update.rpf go to common go to data scroll right down the bottom and then you'll see drclist.xml hover over it right click and edit scroll right down the bottom click on your item over here over here press enter once then paste your code over there then all you got to do is save and now go back to your drclist.xml and double check to see if the code is there always double check and yes it is then now go back to your GTA V and then now minimize your open IV. Now we have finished with installing add-on pens. Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V game folder. Now we are going to install all of the fixes okay for add-on pens. Now all you gotta do next okay is open up your hang on guys gonna sort up these folders now next all you gotta do is open up your GTA V heat adjuster extract folder now go right down the bottom now click on your GTA V heat adjuster.asi and drag it inside your graphic audio V main folder I have already um, got one there so I'm just going to replace it for the video sake and exit out of your extract folder then go to your pack file limit adjuster extract folder and open up that folder i have already got um my two folders in there so i will just only uh replace it okay so click on your asi file and your dll file i mean sorry your asi and your ini and drag these two files except for the readme.txt into your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. As you can see, I have already got them there, so for the video's sake, I'm just going to replace it. And then there you go. Now open up your uh, your GTA V config. Now with this, a lot of people has been getting frustrated and a lot of people has been getting confused on which file to get okay and which file to uh to install now all you guys gotta do is go to your gta v config right over here now there are so many files to choose but the file that i choose that works for me is five times traffic and five times paid so i'm going to open up this file this folder and now all you gotta do is go back to your open IV, go to your mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data, scroll right down the bottom, and just under your DRC list.xml is a game config. Make sure that you click on game config and drag it onto your desktop just for emergencies, just in case, okay? because it is best to it is best to make sure that you have a, have a copy 
so uh, yeah so you can have a backup file okay now go back to your game config extract folder and then now all you gotta do is just click on your game config.xml and drag it to your open IV and then there you go it's done exit out of your extract folder and then now I think we are done now we have fully finished and completed installing add-on pets and add-on pets does work now what we're gonna do is that we are going to install a pet which is this pet over here I'll show you guys one more time this is the pet that I'm going to install okay so let's do this open up your extract folder your pet extract folder and then all you gotta do is open up your my folder now in here there's a few files okay that you can choose but I'm going to choose Korean style now once you have your YDD YFT and your all all your other um, four files okay go to your mods folder okay this is how you install pens okay guys uh, we already installed add-on pens and now I'm showing you how to install pens now so like always go to your mods folder go to update go to uh, time 64 go to your DLC packs go to add-on pens go to DLC.RPF go to pens.RPF and here there's already two pens in here so yeah so that is what we are going to do we are going to install pens in here I might delete it soon now as a matter of fact I'm just going to delete it delete them all then there you go now all you gotta do is click on your YDD file YFT file YMT file and your YTD file and then drag those four files inside your open IV and that's all you gotta do now go back to your GTA V go back to your edit mode exit out of your open IV now make sure you grab one file and paste it onto your desktop and then now exit out of your extract folder Then now all you gotta do now is go back to your add-on pet editor right click and run as administrator once you have completed that then this application will pop up now as you can see I have already deleted these two pets now to delete pets on your add-on pets editor all you gotta do is click on this drop down pets menu and then now click on delete paired select yes and now do it again delete paired select yes and now these two pairs are gone now to install the pair all you got to do is go to your file over here right click click on rename and then just copy the name don't copy the YTD or YMT just leave it and just copy the name then now go down to your your pairs drop down menu and now click on new paired now this is where people has been getting frustrated okay because they put things wrong okay now your model name is your paired name paired type is female of course now is streamed is false okay and then now add paired and then there you go now all you guys got to do next is push rebuild and then press ok exit out of your application now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V game folder right click and refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and now we are done and I'll see you guys in the game now we are here with Franklin so as you guys can see we are in the game I did not get any game crashes or etc so to open up your add-on pets menu all you gotta do is press your L key and then there it goes 
See guys, it does work, LMP does work, so I don't know why everybody is saying it doesn't work. Uh, and then go to your add-on pins, and it, as you can see, it's right there. So we're gonna change to mine. So all you gotta do is press enter again, and there we go. In five, four, three, two, one, and then there you go. See, that's how you guys do it. Uh, and what you can do, with okay, with her is that you can uh, change her appearance, uh, her outfit too. But only if you have menu, so it is really, really high, pathetically, that you must have um, menu. So, to download menu, all you gotta do is go in, in some of the description and download and then install menu onto your main GTA V folder. So, to open up menu, all you gotta do is press F8, then press F8 one more time, and then there we go. Then we're gonna go scroll down to I think it is play option and then go to wardrobe and then go to front view and then you can change the outfits. I think it's the here you can change. Yes you can. Okay. Um I think torso too. Yep. Torso you can change it too. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The mods that I use that is really important is that you must have like menu and even simple trainer because those two menus really help you for your mods. Okay, so that's how you guys install add-on pins and that's how you install pins. And we are back again guys, so I hope you do enjoy this video. Don't forget, if you do get stuck installing this mod, then I'm more than welcome to help you out. Make sure that you comment below or join my Discord or message me on my Discord server and then uh, I am more than welcome to help you out, okay? So make sure you guys do install this mod properly because it does work, okay? I guarantee it does still work. Uh, but with that all said, I hope you guys do en enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe if you guys are new here. And I will be uploading more GTA V PC modding tutorials. And I will see you guys on my next video. Don't forget guys, enjoy and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace and I'm out.